Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by, taking the time to view the channel and this video, of course. Thanks for the support, the interacting with you all is a pleasure. Hello from Canada. Today we'll look at the moon and some close shots of many craters and bridges, structures, anomalies that are on the surface of the moon, of course. Hard to believe that today still some people do not believe that the moon not only has structures but was or still is inhabited. Whether it be human or beings or biological beings, robots, I wouldn't put anything past anything. Because first of all, biological robots, if they are not already doing projects, you'd be surprised at how advanced the hidden side of the world is and how many projects that people have invested in this, how much money has gone into these deep space projects. And guys, these deep space projects are real, okay? They're absolutely real. Look at the bottom here. You see these lines that are going by? What do you think they are? The communications that go from crater to crater. Inside these craters are massive research centers, industries, uh, here there's no smoke in this area. It would be most definitely areas of researchers, uh, holding areas or, um, hey, like John Lear said, the malls, maybe they're malls. As funny as it sounds, guys, it's, it's reality. The moon is inhabited and it's very colorful. Um, why do we call it a moon? First of all, why do we call uh, the moon the name it has instead we call it a natural sat a satellite hmm. I would refer more to something like the unnatural satellite now first of all you do know that the moon well that I'm not positive but if I'm not mistaken I think it's the biggest moon in the entire solar system our solar system maybe not the biggest in the universe but it's classified a moon and it should not be. It's very close to Earth. Um, in the very center also is why when we orbit together, us and the moon, in consideration to one another, we're turning together, which looks like the moon gives us the impression because of the very center that the moon is turning around us or up and over us. But it is not. Here, you see that check that's out of the crater and the line that's going to it and the other craters line from the back. On the top, a line from the smaller crater. Those little gray lines that you see leaving it with like slides or little waterfalls are connected to and from the other craters. There has to be something there. Here again, it looks like a water slide. Um, Sinusiridum, you know, those water slide plates, white plates that seem to be there. There are different constructions on the moon. There are four to five different constructions on the moon. Whether it be different species, I don't know, but there are different types of construction. Are some ancient, we saw step pyramids um, in my last video and a couple of other videos before, but got some nice shots of the step pyramids and the centers atop the step periods. This is a nice shot, but we'll see one amazing shot of this, what I call a military-like base, in great detail near the end of the video that you will all see. The craters everywhere on the surface of the moon have anomalies. The ejecta ray system that was caused by the impact around it, the slow leak that caused the massive... Guys, I don't believe it. And Plato Crater has six to 700 feet on one side of the crater. And you can't say no, we see it in very close detail on many and most of my videos when I film Plato Crater. The top side, the north side, is just from here, seen from Canada, is absolutely ridiculously high. It's a mountain-like area. But then you look close and you see that the top of it is flat and that they have flat surfaced areas that were evenly smoothed out on purpose, most definitely. The ejecta did not form a mountain like that. And there is no even flow there uh, at all or whatsoever. Many areas are cut out inside the ejecta. That I would believe. And you could see many areas cut out, whether it be the ejecta they are forming themselves, uh, like us here, for example, we form pavement. Uh, hey, maybe they have a, um, 
uh, a system or a product that they apply to the surface to be able to build on. Maybe it's because it's very adhesive. It's easy to build. It's solid. We don't know. We have no idea what they're cooking down there. I mean, don't forget, supposedly they're very advanced. See the lights in the bottom levels here? Can you see that? One, two, three, four, five. All these lights, guys, are not reflection from the sun. They're in the bottom of craters. Did you just see that? Back it up for a second and think of it. Why are there brilliant lights in the bottom of black crevices? It doesn't make any sense. And I'm only saying from what NASA says and scientists say that it's the sun reflecting on it. Yeah, my acid is. That's not true at all. See this line here that's cut out? You know how long that is? That is many hundreds of miles long. A couple of hundreds for sure. What is it? See this white stuff here too. Again, I say stuff. I have no idea what it is. It's not ejecta. That's for sure. And if it's ejecta, well, it's illuminated for some reason. Here, just a beautiful shot of this like spherical disc that looks like it's parked there, but most definitely probably has always been seen there. But look over top. Do you see the straight line? It's a center right over top there. That's, this is a massive... Uh, probably a research center no matter what it may be look right here on top the flat level boom with the tunnel the straight tunnel structures going to the back and one to the right that goes downwards into this sphere there's a hole there that goes into the mountain what's this the white strands that leave from everywhere the more you uh, play around with the filters and this is in color by the way you can see them this of course is at the bottom side of the moon. Do you see the white lines, these massive walls? Look as we're going left. You can see clearly that there are many built structures and anomalies on the surface. So we'll continue going left. Now look at the wall-like structures that we see on the surface. It's absolutely ridiculous that that would be natural. Could it be a flow of lava? Okay, I'll give it that. It could be an even flow of lava, but the structure should not be sitting on top of these even flows of lava. And why the flat surfaces at such a high level? Look here, the white lines leaving this beautiful crater. Bottom of Mare Serenitatis, by the way, if you'd all like to get a good look at it and zoom up with your telescopes. Bottom left here, another structure just went by. But we'll soon be seeing this beautiful, massive, what I call a base or airport. And you will see very clearly. Here we're going to zoom up. This looks like a beautiful, very pointy uh, but again, we're far out again. Something pointy when you zoom in can be almost square shaped when you zoom in, but it does look very triangular. And these two other puffs of cloud inside this wall just over Cassini Crater that we can see on the north side of the moon. Here again, Cassini, over top of Cassini Crater, just before this one. Look at the bridge here on the right, and the crater in the bottom there, going to the right. See it? A white line brilliant bridge over top of the uh, empty crater back that up and you'll see bottom right here look there right here in a frame shot there are over 17 um, structure like um, bridge like objects and they're not talked about this is why i'm mentioning it i'm curious myself look at the tower here beautiful tower it looks like a satellite it goes up curved it has even a, a road leaving to and from it here too in color beautiful now look at the base we're going to zoom up into right now. I got it so ever beautifully clear. Hopefully the YouTube quality will show you some clarity. See Tycho Crater to the right there. Look underneath. Color. Blue color there. Why? What is the blue? In the bottom levels you can see bluish color. Now here we are coming up to a top left. Look at it. Look at the platformed area. Boom, goes all the way around, looks like a trees all the way around area, white spots which are structures on top, level underneath, it goes underneath and bottom left again coming up more and more as we're panning left. I mean guys, here, look at the top, look what's coming out, but it's actually lying down on the ground, there's a platform with uh, moon dust or whatever hiding over top of it. Look at it, a platform or a structure, pipe, I don't know, pl uh, some kind of a platform, it looks very symmetrical coming out white and it looks like it has movement lights on it clavius crater we'll get in really close this is live footage with my a this is with my celestron 
and it's uh, not even a five inch mirror guys this is why I gotta get a 14 inch imagine imagine what we're going to see guys you're not gonna believe it we're not going to believe it see behind Clavius creator rewind that you see a beautiful six edge structure at the end all six straight edges massive walls cut out whether it be ancient or not it's still something interesting we have to research its proof that's what we should be investing in we don't need billions of dollars guys we need a couple of millions to send us to the moon invest one billion dollars and have a one week beautiful search of the moon brother my brother Regis Weichway this is your third time donation brother I love you man thanks $135 this time dude you can't understand even imagine how much I appreciate it from John Douglas all the way down to the three anonymous donors guys thanks for the, the contributions and the ongoing support to this channel Regis Weichway thanks a lot man I know you believe in me I know you're you're curious yourself to see what the heck's up there and bro we are going to see it even if it's in a couple of months uh, the money is safe where it is now guys for all of you to know I'll say quickly the amount has uh, gone down from what it used to be here's what happened there were fraudulent imagine I don't understand it the fake credit card uh, donations I'm happy because in a way I'm pretty sure that there's not gonna be like 20 a week right but I had to pay $20 for each donation there was five or six or seven donations that were fraudulent it doesn't matter guys it's not gonna keep us back it's a legitimate site it's myevents.com right here in Montreal 45 minutes away the link for the campaign will be up in the description of this video thanks for subscribing everyone